everyone. Let me see if I can get my chat set up here so I can see it. Hello, hello. And let me know if you're here. And if you can hear me and see me and all that good stuff, just give me a second. Since I can't get a, a mic or a headset to work on my computer, I need to be able to see chat without turning my head. And I do not see the live stream. Sorry. There we go. There we go. I'm seeing it now. Hello, hello. Do we have anybody here? Hello. I think I see everybody. Well, I don't see anybody. Um, <laughs> hello, you guys. Welcome to World Collage Day. It is a, and I don't have the magazine. I put it away. Um, a collage magazine, and collage is spelled really strange. And of course, I don't have a piece of paper either. It is, it is, hello, Christine and Becky. It is spelt K O J. K-O-L-A-J. It's a magazine, and they are all about different kinds of collage, and they always advertise all kinds of different activities, um, things that are going on, exhibitions, and open calls for stuff, and um, they have World Collage Day every year. And it's usually the Saturday before Mother's Day. So, I wanted to be in the spirit of World Collage Day. And I have a quick, fast little project. I did put a video up about it yesterday. It is... Hello, Lala. It is a quick... Um, a quick little project, kind of like a serendipity, kind of just glue what you have down onto the pages. These pages are small paperback novel pages. So they're about seven inches by about four inches, maybe just a little bit more. And I am gluing stuff over the pages on both sides and kind of overlapping the edge of the page so that they're maybe just a little bit larger than that. Um, and I will get into all that later. So this is all I wanted to do and while I am chatting away and talking to everyone I am just going to start gluing. This is um, kind of like a, mm, a visual journal it's a random collage process. No thinking required. It's just grab something and glue it down. And I kind of want to take my time with it and just relax with it. Hello, Jennifer. Nashwana, not Nashua, Nashua. Um, Becky, I have not been to the post office box. Am I supposed to be going to the post office box? The post office box is clear across town and I have been limiting myself, um, limiting myself of going places. So no one said I needed to go visit, so I haven't been. And I have seen your email. I saw it today, and I am, will be responding. So um, I am absolutely swamped with stuff. 
um, I'm finding that I am having a difficult time keeping up with all the stuff that's that I need to do and reading emails and stuff I've kind of gotten behind because I have so much stuff that I need to catch up on so I'm finding you know my life has not changed a lot I need some more stuff for this page I'm just gluing stuff I'm just gluing backgrounds down um, nothing fancy I just want to kind of cover the page. Let me get um, some bits out here. And this box here is, I just put up a video and I kind of gave a tour of my baskets. My baskets have been put away so that I, ooh, that's a cool piece. My baskets have been put away so that uh, I have room, because I really don't have a whole lot of room here. But I have baskets, lots of baskets, different size baskets that I keep around and I just toss in little leftover bits from projects. I toss in things that I come across and I don't know exactly what I want to do with. And then I've got this, this place that I can go and find little bits of background stuff and I don't have to go searching very far and it's a variety of things which makes it very easy and I like easy and it's all organized and I and I can spot the basket from clear across the room hi Cheryl Elizabeth Hello, hello. Hello, all you lurkers. I'm sure there's some lurkers out there. I'm trying to figure out how I won't, don't want it that big. But well, how do I want to tear this? That's a cool piece. And that would fit right there now that I've got it all tore up. So I will go to the box. I only get out once a week. Oops, that's the way I wanted to do it. Once a week is all I, I, I have my errand days on Fridays. And I go out once a week. I've done that forever. It, it suits me. Uh, I don't mind being in the house for days on end. I don't mind it at all. I'm kind of a homebody. I like to be at home. Not doing doing my stuff. I keep myself very, very busy. And like I was saying, happy World Collage Day, yes. I, I keep myself pretty busy, but I'm finding that I, I have very limited time to be able to do my projects to organize and, and to do all that stuff. I mean, daily living, that, there's a lot of stuff you gotta do. And I didn't realize really how, how, how much stuff, you know, showers and dishes and all that stupid stuff that, uh, you know, so wish that we didn't have to deal with. If I could stop eating, man, all the time I could save from cooking and and eating and doing the dishes, <laughs> cleaning up, all the time I could save. I would love that. I really would. I'm not a big food person. I can go for a long time. I don't eat three meals a day either. I got better things to do than eat. That's Isn't that sad to say? Thank you, Lala, for posting on Facebook. That is fabulous of you. Very nice. When is your auction? You can uh, announce that auction here. Hello, Gigi.
well, my my post office box is for for my 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 stuff, my my business. So, um, just to keep all that separate. Just think, if I didn't have to eat and clean up and cook and all that stuff all the time, I'd have. I figure I was thinking about it yesterday. I was actually thinking about it yesterday. Um, I think that might be just too dark, but it looks good with the pineapples here. I don't need that huge bit, big piece, though. Let me tear off a bit. Let me tear off a bit. So that's all I am doing is I am just randomly collaging some stuff down on the page. I am doing both sides. I want a little tiny bit for that corner. You don't necessarily have to cover up the full page, but I'm finding that I am, okay? Not on all the pages though. I'll show you some of the ones that I did. Here's my itsy bitsy little fish bit basket for those tiny little bits. Let me see if I can find a tiny little bit for right up there, and I think that will work. And then I will show you what I am doing and some ideas about what I'm doing. So that's all I'm doing really right now is I am just creating a background page, and I would do both sides of this. I guess I'm really close to being done with both sides, so let's just put some more stuff down on this other side, and I can call this page done, and then I'll get on to showing you what I'm doing. And this project has been really nice for me. It's no thinking, it is fast, it's easy, it is very relaxing. I have been kind of not in the collage mode, mood. Um, it's not been working for me very well. I have been organizing, I've been making treasure jars, I've been doing other stuff because this really just has not been working for me. I need a corner piece and I don't want that side. So let's go with this. That will work. Maybe not quite so much of that. And I have glue on my fingers. I did remember to get my washcloth all nice and moist so I have something to wash my fingers off with. And I'm just going to leave that. All right, so we're going to call that page done. Let me close up my glue so it doesn't dry out. And let me wash off my fingers. Catch up with chat. How are you guys all doing? So glad to see you all. Happy World Collage Day. I hope you have a project that you're working on. All right. So that's all I've done. I have made a page, a background page. You can add a little bit of a little bit of you're not gluing today Elizabeth. Uh, you can put a little bit of um, shoot I'm trying to think of three, three things at one time. A little bit of images on while you're gluing backgrounds. You can mix, and I'll, I'll get back to that and do that. But this is what I'm doing. These are the pages that I was uh, relaxing with, and they're nothing special. They're just background bits from my collage fodder. I did put these elements on because I spotted them and I thought they were perfect. I spotted this cityscape here and I, I measured it and it was exactly the right length for the page. And I thought, well, if it's serendipity, it's serendipity and I better put it on this page. And then I liked this guy on the phone. 
he was nice and bold and right, about the right size. He is a um, calendar, a desk calendar image. And so I thought, you know, let me put him behind the cityscape and call that a page. But this one doesn't have any images on it. This one's got a stamped image, and I didn't cover this entire page. Some of the book page is showing. And that is that one where I've used a focal image on the bottom and put some things on top as I was glue gluing things down. I just love this page. I, I, it, really, it really just made my heart happy, I guess. And um, that's all this project is, is just relaxing and gluing stuff down that makes you happy, things that you like. And when you glue things that you like down together on a page, suddenly the page is something that you like because it's stuff that you've used that you like. Here's another one. I put a bit of house windows on this one on the background, thinking that I might put something in front of it. Some washi tape and this little arrow here I thought was kind of cool. So that was my page. And this one, I did add some focal points uh, on top of this one just because I spotted them and thought I'd use it. Here is one that's just got some background bits on it. I haven't done a whole lot of anything to it yet. And this was left over from something else. And so that was part of my background stuff. And I thought that was perfect size, so I put that down. And I did glue this little image down. But she's very light. So I'm not sure how... I don't really consider her a focal point. She's more of a background something because she, your eye doesn't isn't really drawn to her but she's going to add some interest in the background so I'll probably have to put something on top of that and then this is just a background I had a napkin from bonefish and so I like the little fish and I tore up the napkin to get him out and here's a stamped image, and here is the Joker from a playing card that I glued some background bits over. Okay, so they're really simple little pages. Nothing fancy, nothing exciting, right? Nothing really cool. So I did five pages. And probably the next step would be to get a cover for them. I am doing this random collage. I'm just doing some signatures to fill up a vinyl that I got from Shannon Green. So that's what I'm using mine for. And that's why I started using those paperback pages because they were the perfect size and I didn't have to cut anything. Easy, easy. Very nice size. I am using single pages of book text. And then I'm gluing stuff on both sides, which really, really, it, it's, it's cardstock weight now because these are, <laughs> hi Missy. These are really heavy. These are they're they're almost cardboard like. They're they're really stiff. So thin little paper really works well for this. All right? Just thin thin paper. Because you're gluing stuff on both sides, it's going to thicken up quite a bit. Look how fat that signature is now, and I haven't really put focal points on it yet. So that's what I'm using mine for, but you could Let me get my pile out here. Here's the paperback novel that I'm using. It's just a regular paperback novel. And I'm using different novels too. 
Sometimes they come in a little bit different sizes. I like my pages not to be exactly the same size. I am gluing things over the edge, so things are, it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, I don't like them to be exactly perfect anymore. I don't want anything to be perfect. I want it to be a little messy, a little bit. I like my pages different sizes. That's all there is to it. So, Lala is from around here. Lala goes to our get-togethers in, in the library. So, this one is another cover that I am thinking about doing. And this is actually a mailing envelope. All right. And I covered it with background stuff. Now, part of the reason that I like my pages so much um, is I am using very, very neutral stuff. A lot of book text um, that you can't really read. Painted papers, but not in really bold colors. Um, security envelope patterns, but again, not real high contrast. N not really the black ones more the color ones that are a little bit lighter. Um, printed out stuff. This is an old letter of my great-grandfather's that I have printed on copy paper. And activity book for kids. Either the, you know, word search books or crossword or music or um, Here's another security envelope pattern that's light colored. So it kind of all blends into the background and you don't really notice any of it. Newspaper is good for that too. Um, and then when you are putting stuff on your pages, you've got a nice bland beige type background. Your images are going to stick out they're going to be able to be seen a little bit easier. The page is going to be a little less busy, so your background is just adding a little bit of interest. That's okay, Lala. Hi, Annie. Hello, hello. Hello to anybody that I did not see, did not... Oh, I just realized I am in top chat here, so I may be missing some stuff. How do I change that? No, I am in live chat. I am in live chat. Never mind. Whew. Scared me there. Scared me there. All right, so this is just an envelope covered in paper on both sides. I did put a little bit of paper on the inside here because what I think I'm going to do is use some other papers to do the same thing. Do some serendipity collage bits on and then I'm going to use this as a cover. I'm going to sew, after I glue my bits on, I'm going to sew it into this that I've folded in half. And then I can have a flap, or I can close that flap in the back and use the pocket that it will make. So I think that will be one of those fun little things, little projects too. I'm not sure how many pages I'm going to put in it. It depends on how that the pages get as I am gluing them. I kind of want this to be a very small project, very short. I don't want um, to have another unfinished project that I need to finish. It's just a relaxing something, just glue therapy, glue some stuff down, put it in a little cover, and have a finished project that was very relaxing. That's what this whole stream is all about just a little bit of glue therapy for World Collage Day. So that is my thing. And if you don't have a mailing envelope, 
you can use just a piece of paper and I glued this one. I'm looking for another piece of paper. Here, let me just use a piece of notebook paper. Say you've got a piece of scrapbook paper and you want to make a cover with it. The reason I thought it would be cool to do this is because um, now I've got pockets on both sides and those pockets have flaps. So when I put my pages in this cover, it will be the same kind of thing except I'll have two pockets like that. Um, I went crazy with the covers. I don't need any more covers. So the way to do that is to take your piece of paper and fold it together like that. Let me get this out of the way here so you can see. And fold your paper as big as a flap as you would like. You want your flap, you know, you don't want it too big. So just fold it that way. And that will be your cover. So this is the as big as it's going to be. If that's too big, then you might want to cut it down. Or, you know, if it's not big enough, get a different piece of paper. Then you open it up and you need to cut off this part that you see folded here. And I like to, um, I like to make my, my flaps just kind of go in a little bit like a real envelope, but I would cut all of this off right here. All right. and then fold that back up again and glue that center bit. Glue it to itself so that it opens. And then what happens is you've got this cut off. Like that. And what happens when you glue it is you've got a pocket with a flap here. Really easy to do. And then you just collage over it, whatever, whatever you want to do. Make it pretty. Make it out of painted paper. And then you don't have to collage over it. So many options. All right. So then you make your cover. You put your pages in the cover, do a three-hole pamphlet stitch, and you've got a book that didn't take you very long to make. So that's all I'm doing. I am just randomly making some pages. I probably will put a three-hole pamphlet stitch in here and put together Shannon's vinyl and slip those in. I don't have the elastic band handy or I would do it here on the stream. But So after you get your basic background bits done and you've decided what part you want in, I fold them in half. I fold them in half and sandwich them together and I figure out how do I want them to look? So do I want that page in that way? Or do I want that page in second? Do I want that page in third? So I arrange the pages so that I like the way they look. And that's the other reason I like neutral background bits is because when you're doing stuff like this, your pages will match each side. The two page spread won't look like it's um, really off if you've got like a purple page and then a red page and then a green page and you put them together like this and you'll have a red side and a, and a green side and then a green side and a purple side. 
So it kind of looks disjointed when you do it that way. If you do everything in the same kind of color family a little bit on the bland side, everything fits together, everything looks like it belongs together, and you like it more. You like it more. Hello, Dabs. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Just catching up on chat a little bit. So now that I know what order that I want my pages in, then I want to go back and make sure that I've got something um, that I like the looks of the pages. I might have to add a little bit more background bits or some focal images. I didn't get a chance. I ran out of time. I was going to talk about my time issues. Um, there's just never enough time in the day to do everything that you want to do. <laughs> the love bugs in Florida. <laughs> I was noticing that too. We went out yesterday. I went shopping and the sex bugs, I call them sex bugs. There's a season in Florida where there's these certain bugs. I don't even know what the bugs are, but they are all over the air everywhere. And they are, they're thick and they're all having sex. <laughs> they're on your windshield, they're, they're in your hair, they're, they're flying in the air. You can't walk through them. Um, I call them the sex bugs. It's sex bug season. Oh, they were thick yesterday. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I don't know what they're called. Does anybody know what they're called? What kind of bugs they are? So this probably needs a little bit of some kind of focal image. So I would put something random over there. And she is kind of cool. I don't think I need the whole image, but I do kind of like her there. And you know, it's just one of those don't think about it too hard kind of projects. And it's good enough, so I'm just going to glue it down and then rip it off because it's a little long. This is the other half of a face that is in my math book. So it's nice that her other half has found a place to be. Up. Yep, yep. They're really called love bugs? It's love bug season? They're really, because they're really I would never have imagined that they would call those love bugs, but I, I can see why, because they are having sex all over the place. <laughs> they are breeding like crazy. There are going to be tons of them next year. Really? That's their official name. They are love bugs. Okay, well, I'll, call, I'll stop calling them sex bugs then. I'll call them love bugs. Oh, see, now isn't that cool? And I have to decide, you know, do I want something else? Like I said, I didn't get my images out. I ran out of time trying to get the stream set up. I forget how long it takes to set up a stream. And I was doing that and then it was 158 and I didn't have time to go get any images. I have some left over from when I was going through my baskets, but I don't have a whole lot. These coffee cups would be cool somewhere too. Maybe not that straight edge right there. Does she need coffee cups down here? 
She might. Maybe something a little longer, though. Um, and so I don't have a whole lot here to choose from because I didn't go through my, my images. So I'm not going to put something down that I don't like the looks of. And I would go through each page. This one doesn't have anything on it. So I would want to find something to put on there. A little ship. That lion face. He's kind of cool looking. Let me tear off that white bit though. He's kind of cool looking. And this grasshopper is kind of looking at him. I kind of like that. You know what? I'm going to tear off this side too so he's not quite so wide and I'm just going to glue him down because I like it. So I hope you're all doing a nice little fast fun project. I hope you can enjoy our time. I like to know that people are gluing along with me or doing projects whatever they're doing. I like this side, but this side needs a little bit of something. There's a tree. I think I want something a little bit bigger. And she is looking the wrong way. That's kind of cool. I don't want it to be quite that big, but I like I like the image. It's a little white. Just a tad bit too white. Do I have my duster to give it a little color? And all my ink pads are not right here. Let's see here. Yes, this is this is one of my photos. I mentioned that the, the lion is one of my photos. Let me do a little bit of green dusting on this so it's not quite so stark white. The, the lion is or was, it's a photo that I took in Savannah of a planter. It was really a cool planter square and so the lion face was on all four sides of this planter and I took a ton of pictures of it and then I printed it out on a math book page so it added a little bit to that and then I printed it out on just copy paper so now I don't like it. Now I don't like it so much. Not because of the green, because I think it's too large and it is covering up my purple painted paper. I'm not liking the way it looks. I don't know why. I just don't like the way it looks. And I don't have a whole lot of stuff here to choose from, so I'm not going to do the focal points on these, but this one obviously needs something. It's got nothing to look at on this whole page. I've got stickers. I like the colors of that, though, with this page. Let me cut out this frame. Oh, 
that look cool. I like the colors with that. I like the colors a lot. So I'm just going to glue it down without thinking about it. Hello, Karen. So glad to see everyone. Let me get a clean page so I don't get glue on the front of my image. And I'll just glue it down. It probably needs a little something else, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Oh, she's kind of cool, too. I spotted her. Let's just cut her out since I spotted her. Sometimes you just need to stop and let things appear. If you spot something at a particular time, it might be something that you need to look at for what you're doing at that moment. Kind of a serendipity thing. Kind of a visual journaling thing. This is a really easy way to visual journal. Just pick things that catch your eye, glue them down, don't think too much about it, enjoy the process, move on, don't judge, I kind of like her on that page. Oh, she would be cool right there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. See how that happens? I just like the looks of that. And there you go. I'm looking at these fish too. The fish stickers are the same, are the right color as well. What fish sticker should I put on there? I think this one. I think this one wants to be here. I'm just going to stick it right there. Kind of, It kind of blends in with the background, so it's one of those special somethings that someone will see if they're really looking at the collage. I like to give little surprises like that. And that's all this whole project is, is just grabbing stuff, gluing it down, put it together, put it together, and forget about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. I'm looking at these houses thinking that they'd be kind of cool. on the page. So I'm not overthinking today. I am just gluing stuff down. You do have to keep in mind that you're folding the pages in half and you probably don't want something smack in the middle knowing that you're going to fold that page in half and half that image is going to be in a different page. So, you know, keep that in mind that, you know, you've got two sides of your page. So that's all I'm doing. I don't know how much time I will spend here. Hello, Joni. Hello, Shelmo. Hello, hello. I have some pages, too, that are leftovers from a different project. And so I was thinking, you know, I might as well use those as well. So that's all I'm doing. Something really simple, really fast. Let me use this one first and let me just measure to see it's about the right size. It is about the right size. 
Let me, where am I going to put my finished pages so I don't lose them? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So let me, I need to make it, I'll need to chop it off just a tad. Chop it off about there, I suppose. Right there. And then finish up that page. Finish it up. So glad you guys have decided to join me today. Let me get my glue stick back out and just start gluing. Oh, it has it's been kind of nice. I have found that with all the things that you need to do in your life. I I don't know. I you know, I have been so busy trying to catch up with just normal stuff. Um, I'm organizing this room and that's taking up a little bit of time. Not too much, but more than I suspect, I think. More than I realize. It's kind of a mess right now because I've got all these containers and boxes and jars and bits to put in boxes and containers and jars. Uh, all over the place from my treasure boxes. I still need to clean up that kind of stuff. I still have a couple videos to do to finish up that series and then I can put all that stuff away and clean up stuff. And then I've got all that stuff around. But I have found that I am spending you know, time to cook and clean and, you know, shower and all those stupid things. <laughs> well, I'm not, I don't say that, Jennifer. I, I've never said that about myself. Shelly has said it, but um, I've never said it. So I've noticed that I have maybe about three hours in my day, oh, that would be really cool, that I can do things that for my projects or, you know, videos or, you know, emails and all that stuff. I have about three hours a day for that kind of thing. And I spend at least an hour every day more on videos and comments, YouTube, you know, Instagram, Facebook, it's mostly emails. Um, I spend at least an hour doing that every day. Sometimes it's, it's more. And then when I go to try to do a video, you know, I've got to find the stuff. I've got to organize and figure out where everything is and start the project and make the samples for the video and figure out what I need to say and how I need to say it and make sure I know what I'm doing. So videos, you know, a 15 minute video will take me four or five hours to clean up, to, to find all the stuff, to get it situated, to to do it, to upload it, to, you know, all those things. 15 minutes is a long time. Um, and it's not very long to do all those stuffs. So, and that's probably why I'm not getting many unfinished projects done is because, oh, I saw a face on that. That would be cool to have just a face hanging off the edge of the page. I'll have to do that on one and cover his the side of him up a little bit with uh, something else. But that's, you know, and that's where I'm finding that I, oh, oh, I've got to stop. You know, I, I need to get, you know, I need to call this person or I need to 
do this or I, I need to get that done. It's it's already five o'clock. Uh oh, I'm late. Kind of thing, you know. It's it, and I'm not getting anything done. I feel like I'm not getting anything done. I'm not getting any of my unfinished projects done. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to say it. If you guys want to say it, you guys can. I'm leaving chat up for those people that can't be at the live stream at least you know they feel like they are participating they can see all the chat and it's not so confusing when I'm answering questions and they don't know what the question was so don't say anything that you don't want anybody to hear just saying So I hope you all have been really well. Yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. I, I, there's so many things that I, I don't want more music page on here. I already have some music page on here. I'm looking for something else. Something else, please. Some music. There isn't enough hours in the day. There is not enough hours in the day to do half the things I want. It's, it, you know, and yesterday, was it yesterday? I don't even know. I'm losing track of days. Am I the only one losing track of days? I usually do lose track of days. I, I don't have any calendars up. I don't really, you know, there's no reason for me to know what day it is really honestly I mean really there's no no reason I don't have a lot of appointments and I'm not doing things outside the house it's just me doing stuff but I um, started reading emails and doing my comments replies and that kind of thing and I spent two hours it didn't seem like that long. My back started hurting. And I looked at the clock. It was two hours that I had been spending on that stuff. Like, where did the time go? I was supposed to be, I was supposed to do a video. And now I don't have time to do that kind of thing. So. I need something right there. Something, something up here. Oh, I like that. These arrows are kind of cool too, but I'll put that over there. Oh yeah, I like the little triangles. I like that. Hello, Courtney. It's, it's ridiculous. It is, it, you know, there's so many things that I would like to do. There's so many videos that I would like to do. And I find that I am lucky if I get one video done in a day. Hi, Yvonne. <laughs> Don't confuse me, Christine. <laughs> Don't confuse me, because I'll believe you. The only reason I know you that you're not right is because World Collage Day is on a Saturday. Trying to confuse me. It's bad enough that uh, I'm confusing myself here. Shame on you guys. Teasing me. Here's some scrapbook paper. Let's make this one blue. Oh, I didn't really want to make um, it really predominantly one color. I want to make it neutral so it will go with other things. I, I, I'm retracting that. Take that back. Let me put this little face somewhere over here. I like him. I like him. Let me put him down. You kind of don't notice him. So he's going to be one of those, oh yeah, 
know, there's a bit of a face there. It's like half of a face. Half of a face. I need to remember, too, I need my cloth out here. I need to make sure I am... burnishing down that glue really well so it doesn't come back up and I don't have to spend time re-gluing stuff. That's always nice. This is a nice neutral bit. And that will go right there. Kind of frame that face a little bit so it looks like he's peeking out from behind a paper. Now that I've ripped it, it's one of those very brittle pieces of paper. All right, let's see if I can put it back the way it was. It's kind of the way it was. It's good enough. It's good enough. Yep, yep, I can imagine. It, yeah, it's probably, it's probably, it's, it's one of those things, it, one of the, what's, what day of the week is it? It's one of those things that I always have trouble with, since I just don't leave the house and, you know, don't, I don't watch news and I don't, you know, I don't do all that kind of stuff. Um, I do lose track of time. That's kind of cool right there. I'm going to put this blue piece. I don't know why this piece of scrapbook paper is getting my attention. It wants to be down here. It wants to be there. So I always lose days. It's, it, you know, I, but I can imagine that other people can understand where I'm coming from now, being home all the time. Um, it's really easy to lose what day of the week it is. Somebody got one of those clocks that doesn't tell time, but it tells the day of the week. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> Hi, Mariel. Happy Mother's Day, Becky. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are silly. You guys are silly. I'm going to put this Monopoly bit down here. Because it wants to be down there. Monopoly. Monopoly money. Actually, let me put it underneath. Ah, nope. See, I'm rethinking already here. Let me put it down here. Let me put that up there. That up there. And I took all the glue off of that. Put some more glue on it. So yeah, that's my that's my that's my complaint is I just don't have enough time in the day to do everything that I want. I want to get some more stuff done on my inventory, my unfinished projects list. I would love to get some stuff done. Oh, but it just, my day goes by and again, I didn't get to work on any of my projects, you know, kind of thing. I need a large-ish piece to go right about there. So I'm looking for something. Ooh, a two, a two too small. Oh, here is a piece of that magazine image that is blurry. I would like to use that. Oh, and she, her face would look cool with that. So let me put that on the next side. Let me finish this one up. I'm distracting myself. Let me finish. What have I got here? Let's scooch things around so I can see things. That would be cool too. That piece of foil needs to go on top of something. 
I found that in my basket. I wonder if it would go on one of these pages that needs something. What about this page? Hmm. I think it needs to go kind of in the middle of the page. Not that page. It's very, it's a very big piece. Where could I put that? Maybe I could put it on this page. Hmm, it's very delicate. It's gonna be difficult to glue down. Oh, thank you all for your thumbs up. Thank you all. I don't think I like that. I might put it over there. Um, ooh, piece of painted paper would be good. Or stamped paper would be nice. It's too big. Ooh, a ticket. A ticket. Sorry. It doesn't seem quite right, so I am moving on. This one is good. I like the looks of that. It's funny how you just kind of go with what seems right. And if you've got all your stuff that you want to glue, that you've got down here that you like, make sure that you like what you have. Oh, here's another image. So that would be cool on the background too. So let me do that one next. If you like everything that you're gluing down, you should like what you've got when you're finished. Oh, and I've got that little dragonfly is a focal point. He's going to get bent in there. Oh, here's another piece of painted paper. It's a tiny piece of painted paper, but it would look cool right there. It would look nice right there. This came from a cover that I did. It's a corner. I always save those and I use them all the time. If you're lucky, you'll find one in fish bits. Don't always share them. Because I use them all the time. Hello, Kathleen. We would wonder what cheat Carla had if she did get everything done. Oh, man. You can give me that sheet any old time. Go ahead, let me know what that sheet is. I would actually cheat that way. Oh, and this is cool too. I did notice this when I was going through the basket. It's some kind of, it's a cityscape. Midtown Chelsea Green, Greenwich. Is that, um, is that New York? It's really cool. It would be really neat in the background. I'll use that too. Let's see here. If you've got a cheat, man, you better give it up. I, I want to know because I would love... Oh, Jennifer, look, I've got a piece of TV guide. I've got a piece of TV guide. It would be really fun. Maybe I should put it over there because it's kind of big. I want to use the whole piece. I want to use the whole piece, so I'll use it next. Oh, and a piece of, oh, 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 and a loose screw. A loose screw would fit right there. Yep, yep, gotta do the loose screw. 
right? <laughs> and this piece of spirograph with nail polish on it. That works perfectly. We've got our loose screw. We found the loose screw. Of course, we're not going to screw it back in because we like our screws loose. It makes life more interesting, right? We all want to know the cheat. Well, gosh, I thought you had it, Kathleen. Do you tease? I thought you had one. Accusing me of using one. Or suggesting that I had one. Gosh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be great to get all your stuff done? All right, here's the other side of the page. Let me use some of this stuff. What have I found? I don't think I want... I don't know who that is. Cleopatra? Who is that? Who is that? Is that Cleopatra? I don't think I want these girls and Cleopatra on the same bit, but I do want... Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm folding the page in half and they probably probably won't end up together anyway. But look how cool that is. I'm going to put that kind of in the center there. You put that on the side. Let's just glue stuff down and not really arrange it. Let's just let it happen. Oh, let's, it'll be, do I need another page here? One more glue and I'll turn the page. One more gluing. So, I don't know how long I'm going to stay. I've got things I've got to do downstairs. I need to call my daughter. She did her finals for her master's degree on Thursday. And I need to find out how she thinks she did or if she's got her results back. Or I gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to her. And I don't want all of this stuff, so let me tear off the words here. I do like this face, though. So I need to cut it short a little bit so I can go call her. Oh, that looks really cool. I want her on this side of the page, though. She's looking that way. So she needs to be over here. I probably should have put this over there. Oh, well. Oh, well. I don't always do well when I just glue things down. All right, so here's the TV guide. Uh-oh. Yes, thank you, Kathleen. It is. She's been working at it for quite a while. She's been doing classes online, which have been a bit of a challenge. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Let's see here. I was wondering if I could put this head on one of the girls. Oh, I could do that one. Hmm. But she's facing the wrong way, so it might look weird. And it's probably very close to the center of the page. So you'll miss what the head is, probably. So maybe not. Maybe not. You know what might be interesting, I'm like looking at this, is if I fussy cut around this other person, I don't know, it's just one of those, it is just one of those. She, she's a hard worker, yeah, my daughter. She's, she's, 
she's a hard worker. She's always been that way. She managed to uh, start college with all kinds of, um, what do you call them? When you earn, when you earn, <laughs> my mind is a blank, you guys. My mind is a blank. What do I want to do here? I want her to be out. But not necessarily this blob. All right, so I cut her. So I can slip this little piece of paper behind her. How funny is that? Oh, I like it. Can you see that? I need to move her over just a little bit so you can see, so her face isn't blocked by the other face, but look how cool that is. I've got to glue that together. All right, so I need to glue the back of this and the back of her head. and put that together. Sorry, just a little fussiness here. Just a tad bit of fussy. Just cause it struck me at the time. There we go. Oh, look how cool that is. I like it. Look how cool that is. All right, so now I need to put this down. I don't necessarily like the straight edge, so let me tear a little bit of that off. Just a little bit, I don't want a lot of it off. Just don't want it to be straight edge. And I need something over here, just a little, a little something. So that that doesn't bother my eyes. Just a little, a little bit there, like that. Tear off that bit that's hanging off. And I don't really like that top edge either. So let me see if I can tear that off too. Credits, not credits. She got, not credits, but um, scholarships. She was so smart and she did so well in high school that she had scholarships to start going to college. Um, she did it all on her own. No prompting from anybody. She, she really is, she just, that's, it's a natural thing for her to, to, she, she overworks. <laughs> She's constantly working. Um, and that's what she enjoys, so, you know, that's just the way she is. She had scholarships. Oh, let me put the puzzle bit up there. The puzzle bit. Yes, yes, yes. She had scholarships, man. All kinds of scholarships. She's a smarty. Smarty poo. All right. I like it. Do I want the puzzles? Let me put the puzzle down. We'll do that clear across. I don't necessarily like that, so I'll rip that off. Put that down really well. I'm getting glue on my fingers again.
So, yeah, I need to call her and have a chat with her. All right. All right. Do I like that? I think I want something over here, some kind of pattern like, um, not necessarily blue. I want black pattern. Something long and skinny, so let me take a bit of that off. And glue that right in there. I said I was going to turn my page, and I didn't. All right. And I need to go vacuum. My carpet is got all kinds of nonsense on it that I keep stepping on and it's not making me a happy camper. It hurts when you step on those little crumbs of cat food. That hard cat food, man, that stuff is lethal. <laughs> Limping after you step on some of that stuff. It's horrible. Of course, my cat is a very messy eater and it just you know, ends up everywhere. I try to clean up after him, and he, <sighs> you know, cat dramas, cat dramas. I have a ton of cat dramas, too, and that's not helping my situation. I have a kitty. He's an old kitty. I don't know what his problem is, but he Maybe you guys can, can give me some suggestions because I have been round and round with him and don't know what to do and don't know what is causing it. He is peeing just outside the kitty box. He goes into the kitty box to poo and it's in the back of the kitty box. But when it comes to peeing, his tail end sticks out the opening of the kitty box. And it ends up in front of the kitty box. So I have to clean that like five or six times a day. And I don't understand why he is doing that. It's making me nuts. I like this one. I think it needs um, something. I kind of like the coffee cups there. I'm not going to overthink it too much. I'm just going to put it down just because I think it needs something and I kind of like the, lo the looks of that. That's probably a finished page. I'm, I'm really liking that and I don't really like this pointy thing sticking up so I'm going to rip it off so that it's not pointing up. And I need something down here. What do I want down there? I still want to use this stuff. Ooh, I've got this tree. Would that fit there? Kind of, but I don't really want the square. I want to something else. I want I want something else there. Ooh. Um I'm like looking at that. I don't want to cover this up too much. I want to be able to see that, but I kind of like the um, the TV guide in front of it. Jennifer, look at the TV guide in front of it. I like that. All right, putting that down. Putting that down. Hi, Curly T. Sorry. You're having YouTube issues. I can see you. Sorry, I was busy uh, TV guiding over here. Yep, we can see you. I need a litter box for my little box. Well, I had little kitty mats in front of it and got tired of taking the mats outside, hosing them down several times a day. And then I wonder why I don't have any time in my day. It's because I'm cleaning up after this stupid cat. So I tried everything. I've tried, I've tried everything. So I've ended up, I can't get him to, to go into the kitty box to do his business. 
I don't understand. And he's always been such a great cat. He It's only here recently that he's been doing this this stuff. I, I have a feeling it has something to do with age, but it's making me crazy. So he's never done anything like this before. He doesn't scratch. He doesn't, he, he's a, a great cat. So I've got to be patient with him. I have been putting a towel, towels down in front of, yeah, the, the TV guide page is really cool. I might need more of those because I don't think I've got very many. I might have to look into getting some more of those. Um, because those are fun. Yellow pages would be fun too. I, I'm running out of yellow pages. Oh, well, maybe not because I can start using one of the ones that I used for punching holes for covers. I like that. Okay, so that's another page all finished. So I've got three pages done. I think I'm going to put five pages in each signature. I want three signatures for Shannon's vinyl here. And I'll be done with that. And I can scratch another project off my list. So you guys, yeah, um, you have any idea? He's not sharing the litter. He's not sharing litter. It's all him all by himself. That's how I know that he's doing it. His little tail end is outside the box. He stands all the way in the box. It's just his tail and, and rear. And so it goes, dribbles down the, the box. Hi, Barb. Hi, Kimberly. Sorry. Hello, Ki Nope, no infections. He's been to the vet and he's, he's fine. So Barb says, listening to your cat issue, put doggy pee pads around the cat box and then toss them. I've been putting towels down. I've got five towels that I rotate. At the end of the day, I wash towels. And um, that's uh, that has caused me the less stress. But I'm doing a load of laundry every day. See, and then I wonder why I don't get anything done because I'm doing all this other nonsense. Thank you, Barb. Yeah, I would probably, yeah. <sighs> so, anyway, and that is that. Hi, Emma. So, I tried taking the lid off too, and that didn't do anything. Charlie misses the box all the time. <laughs> Shame on you, Charlie. All right, so I am going to cut it short. I am going to go talk to my daughter. But I did want to put one more idea into your head if you are watching this. I do not have time. Nope, did not change the litter brand. Nope, been using the same one forever. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Barb, yeah. I just, you know, I'm one of those environment conscious, and if I can use something that I can rewash, then I'd rather do that and not have to buy more stuff. So that's just me, but it's not, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Old cats are a pain. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, but he was he's he's such a sweet kitty. He's he's been a normal cat, but here lately too, he wants to be on my lap constantly and he, it's so hot. He's so fluffy. He gives me heat exhaustion when he's sitting on me and it's just it's horrible, but he wants to be a lap cat now. All of a sudden he wants to be a lap cat. 
<sighs> it's age related. That's what I assume it was. Hi Debbie. Hi Debbie. Um yeah, that's what I'm I'm thinking it is. I mean, there's no other ex reason for it to happen. So, I thought maybe somebody had some great idea of why and how to fix it, but, you know, obviously it's been going on for some months, so I don't think I'm going to fix it anytime soon. So anyway, here is, he's 17. He's 17. He's up there. He's up there. So I'm going to leave you with one last idea. Um, I do not have a ton of time to organize or to do this myself, but I wanted to put the idea out there because I thought it would be fun. for anybody that might want to organize, um, that might want to organize a swap. These pages are pretty small and you could make them a little bit shorter to fit into an envelope like, and I don't have one handy because I ran out of time and didn't grab one, um, an envelope like a a greeting card would go into and I don't know how wide those are six inches by what four four and a half something like that but if you wanted to make some pages front and back just random pages with stuff that you have that you like and you were so inclined to swap some pages hi mrs Gigi, with somebody else yeah he's he's a he's male for sure then you might want to make some pages and find a swap partner sw or multiple swap partners swap some pages back and forth and then put your swapped pages together to create a book of swapped pages. It might be fun. Like I said, like I said, um, hi Laura, I do not have time to organize or to, you know, do all that stuff. Hello Shelly, I just don't have time to do it myself, but if somebody else wanted to do that, I would give the, you know, the idea is out there for anybody to use. Swap some pages. It could be an international thing. I mean, these are, are less than an ounce, so you could put a couple of pages in an envelope and swap back and forth. Multiple people grab some pages, put those swap pages together to create a book. It would be kind of a cool thing to have um, pages from all over the place, from all different kinds of people with other people's cool fish bits, all their fun stuff. Um, so that is out there. That is out there. Um, and if anybody wants to take that up and do that, um, let me know. You know, I, we were thinking that, you know, Jennifer and I were, were thinking about the logistics of the whole thing. And it would probably be one of those, you know, make a Facebook group and um, share your address info, your personal info with, with people in messages so that it's not public. You know, you get your address um, to whoever you want your address to go to. You know, you'd be in charge of your address. But um, like I said, I just do not have the time to organize anything like that. But if somebody else were interested to take that idea and, and run with it, um, it would be it would be a free idea for anyone. All right. So um, you can message me and let me know. And I would, um, 
give information out. I could do a video or something um, telling other people about um, a swap idea if anybody wants to do that. If anybody needs some help getting the word out about a group or whatever, whatever, if they're looking for swap partners, um, we can figure it out. I don't know exactly how to go about it, but we could figure it out. Hi, Denise. You would be willing to do an email. And that's another option, too, for somebody that wants to organize. They would maybe take names and then um, names and emails. And I don't think I've seen your name, Denise, before, so welcome and hello and thank you for your idea. Um, make an email list and um, connect some partners together. Tell tell the organizer that, you know, I want to trade five pages, five different people, and the organizer could swap names back and forth. I don't know. It sounds like something, um, hello from Texas. And I don't think, Cindy, I don't think I've seen your name either. So anyway, something to think about. It does sound fun. And, and you know, I kind of wish I... I had the time to do it. I just don't think I do. I'm I'm, com I'm completely swamped as it is. I just cannot add something else to my list. I really, really can't. But I am willing to um, help anybody that might want to do that. Um, let me know um, if you want to. Give me an email, um, and I can. We can you know, figure out something to do. So I'm going to cut it short and um, didn't get as much done as I'd hoped, but but that is three pages I did. Well, two and a half because this one was halfway done. Two and a half pages that I did and it was really fast and it was really easy and it was really stress-free. It was really nice. This is a, a project that you could do, you know, five minutes at a time and not be stressed about. And if it, when it gets done, it gets done. And if it takes a while to do, it takes a while. But it's a relaxing, easy, stress-free project. Oh, Kathleen, are you in live chat or top chat? If you're in top chat, you'll probably miss a bunch of stuff. Is there YouTube issues? There probably is YouTube issues as well. So I am going to say good day, good, good day, good day. Uh, <sighs> You did not get a YouTube notification. I've been on for an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Definitely do need stress-free, Emma. We definitely need some stress-free, easy, and using stuff up. <laughs> I've got so much stuff. <laughs> and this is a great way just to use stuff up. Oh, Kathleen. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. It was fun. Happy World Collage Day. Hope you all are well and being safe. I will get back with you with, um, with videos. I don't know when I'll stream again. I just can't fit it into my schedule right now. So... Thank you all. It has been fun. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, if you're watching the recording. And thank you for all your thumbs up. It's been a delight. It was nice to see you all. Bye.